Navigating through no sales tax weekend in West Virginia can be a little overwhelming unless you're really paying attention. News Channel 3's Addie Smith spoke with a Better Business Bureau about how to take full advantage of the savings. Back to school is just around the corner, meaning back to school shopping. In West Virginia, this weekend is no sales tax weekend and it's just in time for school supply shopping. The Better Business Bureau has tips on how to take advantage of this weekend wisely. First, they recommend doing research prior to shopping. Find out what qualifies for the no sales tax weekend because there are some stipulations for the weekend. Also, um, make sure that you're doing your research as far as advertisements go because just because it says back to school sale, that does not mean that the items that are on sale are actually qualified for the no sales tax. No sales tax weekend also applies to online shopping as well. And Blankenship says to be extra careful where you order from. Make sure that you're going to direct websites because unfortunately there are scammers out there. There are fake websites out there. So you want to make sure that you have enough information about the business. Is it a retailer that you purchased from before? And is it the actual retailer? Back to school items are not the only items a part of no sales tax weekend wedding items. I thought that was really interesting too because weddings are expensive and those things add up. Formal attire are also part of that as well. So it's a really great weekend to go shopping. <laughs> For a complete list of stipulations and items that qualify, go to www.tax.wv.gov. In Charleston, Addie Smith, WSAZ News Channel 3. And a more in-depth list of tips and tricks is on the Better Business Bureau website, bbb.org, and that will be linked on our website.